This here is a rain gauge, and also the most common gauge used in the National Weather Service. This particular gauge is non-recording, requiring manual measurements of the amount of precipitation that has fallen. It's also called a standard rain gauge, or SRG. Typically, the standard rain gauge is a metal cylinder with a funnel on top and a plastic measuring tube in the middle. The measuring tube can handle up to two inches of rain before overflowing into the larger outer cylinder. During the winter, the observer removes the funnel and the inner tube and allows the snow to collect in the outer metal tube. The observer will then melt the snow from the metal outer tube, pours the water equivalent back into the inner tube for measurement. The measurements are taken four times a day by National Weather Service personnel and are disseminated via a special observation from this office. The data is useful in many climatological and hydrometeorological operations. You too could have a rain gauge, which is similar to this standard rain gauge. It can be purchased for 20 bucks by joining something called COCORAS, which is an acronym for the Community Collaborative Rain, Hail, and Snow Network. COCORAS is a unique, nonprofit, community based network of volunteers of all ages and backgrounds working together to measure and map precipitation. Your measurements are then displayed and organized for many users, including us here, the National Weather Service, to analyze and apply to daily situations ranging from water resource analysis to severe storm warnings to just neighbors comparing how much rain fell in their backyards. More information on COCORAS can be found at www.cocoraz.org. What you're looking at here is called a snowboard. We use this item to measure the amount of snow that has fallen, which is different from snow depth, which we'll discuss in just a minute. Both of these snow measurements are taken every six hours and are included in that special observation that we send out. Now specifically for snowfall, the snowboard should be used for the most accurate measurement. The snowboard is simply just a piece of wood that's painted white so that it doesn't absorb heat that would ultimately melt the snow. The six hourly snowfall is measured to the nearest tenth of an inch. And after the measurement is recorded, the board needs to be wiped off clean for the next measurement. Now if there's been a lot of wind resulting in blowing and drifting snow, it may be necessary to take more than one measurement on the snowboard and average them together to get a more representative total. Snow depth, which is the total amount of snow and ice on the ground, can be measured by a ruler or by what you see here, which is a snow stick. Snow depth is measured to the nearest inch. And the snow stick has just that. The black marks on the stick are in inch increments. Measuring snow depth isn't as easy and clear cut as you may think. To get an accurate snow depth, several measurements can be made to get an average value. This is especially needed when there's been a lot of blowing and drifting, when the snow depth can vary, sometimes greatly. We have two snow sticks here at the National Weather Service, one on each side of the building, to aid in getting our accurate measurement. There is actually one other measurement that we take called a snow core. The snow core is simply the amount of water held within the snow on the ground. This is similar to the amount of water within the snow that's fallen, where we melt it down to get the measurement. The snow core is measured by taking that outer metal portion of the standard rain gauge and pushing it down into the snow on the ground to catch the snow. We then carefully turn the can over, keeping the snow inside the metal can. We'll then melt that snow down to get a measurement of the liquid water content. This total liquid in the snow depth is important for hydrologic issues, mainly for spring, so we can know how much water will be flowing into our rivers and streams, and for the potential for spring flooding. 